New Year's 2019 may have looked like this. No masks, all the fun. 2020 probably looked a little bit more like this with the masks on. And 2021, well, <sighs> with the COVID cases on the rise and other it going around, it may be pared down even more. Maybe just two of you. Hey, no matter how you celebrate, chances are there will be a cheers to the new year. Consumer Reports recently tested boxed wine. Yeah, I know. What a job to have, right? It was a really tough assignment, but we managed to muddle through. Boxed wine may get a bad rap, but does a glass bottle make a difference in taste? Consumer Reports editors poured, swirled, and sipped 11 different boxed wines. So we looked for how rich and fragrant the wine was before tasting. Then we wrote down any flavors we noticed, as well as how balanced the wine was, how complex it was, uh, brightness and depth. We also took note of the wine's finish. Among the favorites, this Beaujolais from Wineberry. Its pretty packaging is perfect for a party. It's 40 bucks. Equally favored, the light-bodied Pinot Noir from Black Box. It's also $20. And the Black Box also earned a best white wine pick with this Sauvignon Blanc. Testers said its notes of grapefruit, tropical fruits, and green apple will appeal to most any casual wine drinker, making it a great choice for a party. I drink box wine and I do recommend it to other people. Wine and spirit shop owner Cindy Coker says there's no need to turn up your nose at boxed wine. It's uh, delicious, it's convenient, and it has a handle. What more do you want? It has a handle, right? Well, boxed wine can be half of expensive as a wine in a bottle. And once a boxed wine is open, they can last longer than the bottled wines.